Kentucky's primary election is less than one week away, and while much of the attention is on Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders in the race for the Democratic presidential nomination, another Democratic contest is being watched closely in Kentucky's 95th House District. WNT's Matthew Rand talked to the candidates and joins us now with more. Matt? Well, that's right, Steve. Longtime state legislator and current House Speaker Greg Stumbo faces a challenge from fellow Democrat James Jimmy Rose, a Floyd County retiree and former state representative. We should mention this is not the Jimmy Rose of America's Got Talent fame. I talked to both men about why Democrats should choose them to represent the 95th district. Greg Stumbo first came to the Kentucky House in 1980, served as Kentucky's Attorney General from 2004 to 2007, and later became Speaker of the House in 2009. He says his decades of leadership have prepared him to answer the challenges facing eastern Kentucky. It's going to take things like the four lane of the Mountain Parkway. It's going to take things like this new interstate, which I'm really excited about from Beckley all the way down to London. That'll open our area up. James Jimmy Rose says he's in this race because he says the 95th district has been too long neglected. Look around us. Look at Pikeville. Look at Hazard. Look at Paintsville. We don't even have a community center in this county of 38 or 40,000 people. We have just totally been connected disconnected with everybody. Rose favors term limits and says Greg Stumbo is out of touch with people in his district who are struggling financially. All the money is going toward Lexington, Louisville, and there's a reason for that. Greg's been running for governor since 1980 when he went in the House. Stumbo defends his time away from the district, saying his speakership is a full-time job. I didn't ask to be away from home this much, but uh, that's just the way it is. And if I'm going to be effective and if I'm going to deliver uh, what I think we need to have to diversify our economy, then that's the role I have to play. Stumbo says protecting public education remains job one to creating opportunity in the region, while Rose pledges, if elected, to return 20 percent of his salary after taxes to veterans projects within the 95th district. Now the winner of that contest will face Republican Larry Brown in the November 8th general election. Steve. All right, Matthew, thanks.